Hello viewers, I remain Beatrice Christopher from Statistics Scribe. God's willing, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to perform split plot design analysis. So quickly, I have my data set saved in SPSS. So in case you don't know how to import data from one software to the other, all you have to do is check our tutorials on separate methods, okay? Like for example, you can check our tutorials on how to import data from IBM SPSS statistics into R, okay? So in this case, I want to use this option here, import data set from SPSS. You click on SPSS, then you must have your Haven, of course, installed, that's the package. So all you have to do is browse the location where it is saved. So to be fast here, I prefer to actually search it, but should just be in desktop, you can just search it in desktop, anywhere it is, locate where the file is located, okay? try to trace your file but i prefer to just search mine the file name is split plot so as you can see i have it here split plot design dot sav you can just double click it then here it's imported here as you can see all you have to do is import it now click on import so this is all we have this is it the command okay so i have my data here so before you proceed make sure you attach it to your workspace okay so you can see here the data has been imported into my environment so the function to use is attach okay attach what the file name is split plot design okay attach split it will give you the completion split underscore plot as you can see it is here instead of typing it you can just click on it and you run it okay so it's telling me that the following object are masked from split plot design so as you can see, I have blocks, I have manure, I have oats A, I have yields, okay? So quickly, I can decide to run the analysis. So as a prerequisite, to run the analysis, you need a package, that's an R package called Agricola E, okay? So all I have to do is, I have the package installed, you have to call in the package, which is use the library function as follows, then you type in Agricola E, Okay, if you like, you can put it in double quotes, it's still the same. Okay, if you like, you can put it in double quote, just still the same thing. If you like, you can just type it without the quotes. Okay, still the same thing. You see, it's no error. So, I'm just trying to show you the various ways now. I've actually, call in the library. This is the library that is required, okay, in running most design analysis for experiments okay so quickly now i want to run the code now i want to run this code such that i'll have my split plot design output displayed okay so here i can decide to put it in a variable container let's say mm, i want to call it my split plot okay so let's say i want to call it my split plot then define the by the function to use is the width function, which calls function for environment expression, okay? So all you have to do here is the width function is what you use. So this is width, then you have your data. So my data comes from a file name called split plot design, okay? The file name is what you use. So the file name in my own case is, my bad, in my own case is split underscore plot design can you see it here or you type it completely so this is what i have the file name comma the next thing is your sp function so it's called sp dot plot that's split plot this is the function you use open bracket that's split plot then your block your whole plot your split plot and your response okay so under this function all you have to do is you need your block which is your replication a uh, block in this case is blocks make sure you type in the case the way it is i have uppercase b lowercase l o c k s okay blocks comma then my main plot my main plot in this case is oats a okay so you can see here oats underscore a so i have oats in yours you might save it something else okay with something else so i have oats a you can select it comma then my split plot is manure b okay so i have manure you see i have the option here you can just click on it then my response variable in this case is yields right so i have yields 
here as you can see you have yields okay so don't forget the first thing you need to do is you can define it in a variable container here if you like you can just type in the width directly without putting it into a variable container but it's best if you put it in a variable container so the function to use is width open bracket then you type in the file name in this case in my own case here my file name is split plot design comma then the next thing you type in a function this is a sub function called sp.plot for split plots then you open bracket for the sp.plot function under the sp.plot function you need your replication which is blocks that is you need your blocks comma then your main plot in this case my own main plot is oats a that's variety a comma then the next thing you need to put is your split plot in this case my own split plot is manual b and the last but one thing you need to put after putting your comma is your response variable and my response variable in this case is yields okay so that's all this is all for the explanation so all you have to do is just to hit enter or you run your lines of codes that's if you're using the r script okay so just press enter you have your output so this is my output here as you can see i have response is yield my blocks degrees of freedom is five sum of squares is this mean square is this so here this ea here is telling me that that's my whole plot error okay this is my whole plot error then here i have the split plot error which is eb okay eb is my split plot error as you can see here so any other thing is there and we have significance here so this is the output for the split plot design you can actually expand it to see everything okay so you can see it here so this is just the output analysis split plot yields you can actually collapse it also okay should you not have agricola installed in your r or r studio all you have to do is just click on the link in the description box okay and follow the tutorials you'll learn how to okay i hope you like this video kindly like share subscribe hit on the notification bell for more updates thank you for watching